One of my favourite things about comic book movies now, Mason... Go on. ...is that they leave a like on this video, just like anybody watching this. And in addition to that... That doesn't make... That sentence doesn't make And in sense. addition to that... So a, co a comic book movie would come along. And in addition to that... So that Captain America movie from, like, the 90s would come along. And in addition to that... And it would like this video. How? And in addition to that, it's Mason... It's got hands? And in addition to that... Go on. I enjoy that there are a whole lot of obscure comic book characters popping up. You see... Spider-Man. Yep. Reverse Spider-Man. Reverse Spider-Man, <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. It's just mirrored. It's oh. just flipped. You know, you might get someone like, who thought we'd see a Doctor Fate? Who'd ever thought we'd get like a werewolf by night? You That's know, true. all of these different things. Mm -hmm. So what I've done here, I've compiled a list of obscure Marvel comic book characters. Uh -oh. And I'm going to present them to you, Mason. Okay. Oh, this is one of those quizzes that That's you like right. so much. All right. And not only to you, of course, it's going to be on the screen for those watching it. And then there'll be four options for people to choose from. What about people who are only listening to the audio? Then I can't help you. Wow. But leave a like. Okay, terrific. Great. Here we go. Here's the first one. Here okay. are your options. All right. Doppelganger. Okay. The Human Spider. Oh. Spider Carnage. Okay, all Quattro right. Quattro Formaggi. What do you think this is, Mason? Oh, James, have you written this using your signature wit? Yes, Mason. That's I have terrific. all of my signature wow. wit. If this man simply had... Four limbs, mm -hmm. I would 100% go with Quattro Formaggi. Yeah. Because that is Italian for four limbs. Yes, that's right. Uh, but he has got eight limbs, yeah. which is Otto Formaggi. <laughs> and that's Dr. Octopus, which is not what I'm looking for here. That's Italian for Dr. Octopus, right? Correct, correct. Okay, yeah. right. And it's obviously not Spider Carnage mm -hmm. because I have the Carnage suit on. Yeah, that's true. And that's not a thing. It's silly. What you've said is silly, it's stupid. I apologize. And you're stupid. Because there's one no, right No, no, admit it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Thank you. And it's Doppelganger. <laughs> very that's, good. That's the, you've started with a very easy one, and I'm aware that's Doppelganger. All right, let's move it along. Okay. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. Now, Mason, here are your four options. All right, okay. Dakin, Drabin. Okay. Stabin, mm -hmm. Dabin. That's, well, look, I mean... Fifth option, Darabin. Darabin uh, Dar Station. Darabin Council. <laughs> local council in Australia, in Victoria. Yeah. Uh, okay, now, given the options, look, it's it's... He could be doing a dab. Yeah. Like, he's not doing a dab here, but comics are a, a dynamic medium. Yes. Uh, the next panel over from this, maybe he's doing he's a doing dab. He's doing a dab. Maybe he's just come out of a dab also. Yeah. But to answer your question, now that you've given the options, that is Dakin, that is Wolverine's son. That's right. But he's got a different look here. Yeah, he I does. suspect maybe he's maybe he's uh, one of Apocalypse's four horsemen here oh, or yeah. something. Or he's got more blades than mutation. you'd normally expect. But I do recognise he has a two over, one under situation. That's right. Yeah, and he's got some bonus claws there as well. Well done, that's two for two. You're very welcome. Here we go. Next one down. Okay. Now this person is this. Dr. Clang, mm -hmm. Dr. Klong, yes. Dr. Bong, mm -hmm. or Dr. Ballend. That's fine. Is that why you've chosen this? To it's do not, that little it's one? It's not the only reason. No, but it's So maybe I based the... the whole video around this one image that I found. Oh, now, James, perhaps you might want to choose a different image. <laughs> Uh, in in it uh, says the name. It, it says the name of the character in here. And oh, that'll be taken out for the video. Oh, terrific. Okay, well, I am familiar with this character. He was in actually. He was actually in a John Byrne She Hulk run. Mm -hmm. uh, that is Doctor Bong. He has a bell Correct. for a head. That's absolutely right. Now, to ask you, yeah. is it a helmet or is his head a, a bell? I think his head's a bell. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And his hands a bell ringer for ringing. <laughs> Perfect. Bell. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. He's a Doctor Doom parody. So. Okay, so this one uh -huh. is this the shadow? Mm -hmm. Is this Shadow King? Mm -hmm. King of Shadows. Okay. The King of Wishful Thinking. Ah, that's mm. a Go West song. Is it? Uh, yeah, I've, I've sung Maybe that. Maybe it's at, this guy. I've sung that at karaoke. <laughs> and and this creature didn't emerge from the darkness to mm -hmm. consume me, so I don't think it's that. Uh, it's not the Shadow. Pulp Hero the Shadow. That's Alec Baldwin. But this is, in fact, if you've seen the, the TV series Legion, yeah. is, in fact, the Shadow King. You're correct, Mason. Doing pretty well. I'm doing all right. I can look at pictures. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, it looks like a Lady Deadpool, Daredevil kind of situation. So I'm excited for whatever this is. Okay, first option is uh, Deadpool, but with one sword, and it's a different sword. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Just that okay. is, is what you see. The sword appears to be at attached uh, to, to this uh, person's arm with a sort of a handcuff situation, yep. much like uh, a Secret Serviceman might keep their... Uh, hand attached to a briefcase, yeah, yeah. or a pen might be attached to a to a, a bench at a bank. Yeah, that's not yeah. inaccurate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you think this character works at a bank? Yes. Is this Ben Affleck's the accountant? Yes, that's good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I can give you more options though. Okay, terrific. Uh, Nemesis. Okay. Red, white, and black. Okay. Fixture. Those are the three options. Deadpool with one. Oh, sword I'm sorry, I forgot the obvious joke. <laughs> one. Okay, right, 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 right. But I mean, James Deadpool is a crazy character, and it sure. wouldn't shock me. 
if he had a supporting character named Deadpool, something, something, whatever the thing he said was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, the character is literally red, white, and black. Mm-hmm. See, Nemesis is also a, a, uh, a Mark Miller character. That's true. And a Marvel video game. But it is generic enough that it, it could probably be used by multiple characters yeah. for different companies. I'm going to say it's Fixture. Uh, it's Nemesis. Oh. A very minor character introduced in Alpha Flight in 1984 and it hasn't really been in anything since. <laughs> huh. Yeah. In 84? 84. So that, that predates Deadpool. Apparently. Huh. Wild. Mm. What about this next one? Okay. Oh, it is. It's Good. a picture of Quasar. Is that who you're talking about? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> is it Quasar? Yeah, it is. For all the other options. Is it the cross? <laughs> Bearing in mind, it's Quasar, but keep going. <laughs> you got to give people a chance, Mason. I know. Not for this one, though. Okay. <laughs> they got to be quick. Folks, if you if you were watching this video and you didn't immediately go, that's Quasar, we don't want you here. Get out of here. <laughs> Take your like away. Just kidding, don't ever <laughs> no, take no, it No, no, don't like do that. that. Yeah. Is it The Cross? No, it's Quasar. Is it Space Cape? No, it's Quasar. Is it Captain No Wrists? It's qu- oh, that's quite good, actually, but it's Quasar, though. Here's a question. Yes. Which Quasar is it? It's um, Wendell Vaughn. It is, from 1977. There Very you go. good. Well done. It was Quasar. <laughs> I nearly said Wendell Pierce, but he's from The Wire. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, right? What about this next one? Oh, no, I'm drawing a blank on this guy. Okay, this is great. All right. Let's, let's not panic. Okay. And you is know he the world's toughest Smurf? <laughs> Is he the Smurf no, bouncer? No, that's... Is he the Smurf bouncer? Like, in, is it, if there was a version of Roadhouse, but it was Smurfs, no, would that's this be the guy? No, Strongy Smurf, whatever his name oh. is. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is this Zach Braff? No. Zapruda? No, that's the film where JFK was killed. Okay. Yeah. It might be Zapruda, though. Sure. Uh, Zarek? No, Zarek. It's maybe a G.I. Joe character or something. Sure. Or a version of Kang or something. <laughs> Boy... <laughs> Can't rule that one out. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't. God, maybe it is Zapruder. Give me those options again. Zach Braff. It's not Zach Braff. <laughs> okay, and it's not the last thing you said, so it's the one of the two in the middle. I'm 50-50 on this. Zeropa? Zeropa. Whatever I said before. The, the U2 album. It's not that. <laughs> Zapruder, sorry. No. Zarek? Look, I'm going to say it's Zarek then. It is Zarek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tipped your hand by saying that U2 album. I know. Well, yeah. I, that's how I wrote it. Then yeah, I yeah, said yeah, Zapruder yeah. and then I'd forgotten what wow, I said. Wow, wow, wow. You should have said Zootopia. Uh, Zarek is the former president of the Cree Empire and villain. Wow. Nice. And what about this next one? He thinks, and he thinks purple and orange look good on him. Idiot. I would have said go with a charcoal grey or something. That's what you got to do. Or a, navy, a navy would work. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. You know it's a minor character because it's a very low res image. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next up we have, is this mm-hmm. Steve Rogers? No. Blue jeans, red jacket, but the jacket is spelt J-A-K-E-T. <laughs> oh, wow, so space age. I like yep. it. Like he's an AI or something. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Metalhead mm-hmm. or Ulysses Archer? Uh, look, I believe, I believe it's Ulysses Archer. Is he a space trucker? Yeah, he was introduced in 1983 and he has a CB radio in his head. Hell yeah. He's a, he's, yeah he is a trucker, yes. For communicating with, uh, for communicating with alien races in yep. space. That's and cool. now for communicating with no one. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Like, when I was a kid, I'm like, oh, my God, give me some cyborg stuff. And these days I'm just like, that will be filled with adware, wouldn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nightmare. That's Joker. Hang on. All right. Is this yes. Mr. Smile? No. Joker? Yep. The Cigarette Smoking Man? No. A paparazzi photo taken when they were filming the movie Joker. So it can't be two things. I guess it can't. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now that's interesting because he does smoke in the movie. Yeah. So right. you're saying it could be the Cigarette Smoking Man? No, that's an X-Files character. I'm okay. pretty confident. I mean, he's a cigarette smoking man. Yeah. If he is even a man in this. If he hasn't yeah. become an idea. Sure, yeah. You no. Know? And it is the Joker, <laughs> but you're, you're, you're cruel and mean. Yep. But I don't recall him making that hand gesture during the movie. And you memorise that movie. I've memorised For seen, this video. I've seen this movie 100 times. I've, well, for this series of videos, certainly. I've, watched, <laughs> I've seen Joker so many times, so any nuance, any, any slight raise of the eyebrow from you, I can go, ha, that's Joker. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a paparazzi photo from it the is, set of that's Joker. Right. Yeah, and I think it's someone with an iPhone. And yeah. he's, got, he's got his hand in his pocket in a way the Joker never would. That's right. You know? He wouldn't. Mm. Next up. Okay. We have. Ooh. I like this guy's whole deal. You know, and I like these two gentlemen behind him. I noticed I took out the words because he was saying his he was name. saying his whole name? Yeah. Is this? My microwave head, flaming hands. <laughs> is this? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's his catchphrase. I'm microwave head. <laughs> flaming hands. <laughs> Is this Taser Face? No. Ort the Living Comet? Ooh. Crash Helmet? Oh, yeah. A fourth option. I mean, he's not Taser Face, mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy character. Yeah, but uh, maybe he could be an iteration of that. I don't think he is. 
and he's not the fourth option. You should have said comedy fourth option for laughs. <laughs> I think he's the human comet guy. Uh, or to the living comet? Yes. Yes, he had one appearance in the Avengers West Coast in 1990. Wow. Great design though, right? I like it. I'm really impressed by that it one. really does say comet. Who are the guys behind him? Dunno. Wow. No, Probably I strippers for his birthday. Yeah. I don't have any of the context. Okay, great. Next up we have, is this head stack? I know who this is, but I'll let you read out. Is this head stack? No, it's not. Is it Two-Face, but the Marvel version? No. Is it Double Bite? No. Is it By Beast? It is By Beast, yes. That's right. Introduced in 1975. More more often a uh, She-Hulk villain, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so. Bit of an odd duck. The heads also have different knowledge. One's like fighting and one's romance. I can't remember. That's beautiful, actually. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up, second to last, Mason. Oh, I like this guy. Is this? Yes. Is this a Frank Quitely uh, illustration? It might be. Is this? Yes. Green and Red Man. No. Ooh, though. Oh, maybe. The, the Split. Okay, sure. Mr. Christmas. Yep. 3D Man. Mm, damn. Okay, he's not Mr. Christmas. How do you know? Well, he'd have more tinsel. <laughs> I guess he would. God damn it, James. He'd have a tree sticking out of his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what my other three options there? Uh, green and red man, the split, Six. 3D man. Because you've ruled out Mr. Christmas. I have apparently. ruled out. I'm, the thing about green and red man yeah. is that sounds very stupid, but it also <laughs> sounds like something maybe Stanley came up with 2 a.m. before the issue was meant to be published. Sure. And he went, what about a, what about a green and red man? <laughs> I don't think it is that. God, it might be 3D man. Split and 3D man. Are quite, the split. The split. Damn, he's got those glasses too, doesn't he? Which suggests 3D Man to me. Yeah, sure. Ooh, I'm going to say it's Split, though. It's 3D Man. Damn! Introduced in 1977. Well, first of all, get out of here, 3D Man, and don't don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. <laughs> also, he's green and red. Yeah, I know. Not red and blue. I know, That's right? That's insane. I'm I agree. So, I'm so mad. Yeah. Okay, last one. Yes. Is this? Look, I can probably guess what this is. Is this? All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Blood Cow. Mm-hmm. Count Dracula. Wow. Hell cow? Mm-hmm. Hell of a cow. Wow. Yeah. I would have said Mubius. If I was, <laughs> that's where I thought you were going. I would have sworn you were going. That's where you were going. Just give them to me again. Well, now I'm angry that I didn't think you of that. You should have thought of Mubius. Blood cow. Uh-huh. Count Dracula. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell cow. Okay. Hell of a cow. Uh-huh. Or my favorite, Mubius. You son of a bitch. <laughs> but thank you. I think it's hell cow because he looks like... Damon Hellstrom. Sure. Okay. I can't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh Hang on. I can't remember which one's the right one. It's Hell Cow. Yes. Well done. I was like, is it Blood Cow or Hell Cow? 100 out of 100. Yeah. Hell Cow was introduced in 1975 and was an animal that was bit by a Dracula in the oh, 1700s. That's one of the worst things that can bit you. I completely agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, tally him up, Lawrence. What did he <laughs> get? And everybody at home, what did you get? What did you get? Maybe you got better than me, probably because you cheated. Maybe. Yeah. And maybe you got better than me because you know more about comic books than me, in which case I said, get out of here. That's also cheating. That's cheating as well. It's a different oh, kind I of cheating. I devoted my life to naming all these comic book characters. We'll do something else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, the reason I put this together because I tried to find a good quiz that would do this and there wasn't enough. It's like, who's this? And I'm wow. like, that's Captain America. <laughs> who's this? Captain America. It's Captain America. Yeah, yeah. This is Captain America quiz. Yeah. Uh, but if you do any suggestions for this, we could do DC characters, more Marvel characters, image comic characters, anything. Or you really. could just get us to shut up. Yeah. Pay us enough money, we'll shut up. We'll shut up. We get it has a, to be enough for yeah. life, though. If you're a deranged billionaire and yeah. you want to get us to shut up, name, email us. Name 50 us, million. 50 million? We'll 50 shut million. up forever, yeah. Yeah, 50 million. But otherwise, we'll never shut up. Yeah, each, right, by yeah. the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad. Anyways, we also have a podcast, don't we, Mason? It's called The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. It comes out every Every Monday, and if you like what we do here and you want to see it potentially early, oh, yeah. like for Caravan of Garbage, for example, head over to bigsandwich.co where if you sign up, there's bonus podcasts, there's movie commentaries, there's a bunch of exclusive stuff on there, a huge back catalogue if you do want to check it out. But all of this available here is obviously free except for the ads. We got you. Ah, <laughs> yes. We got you with an ad. That's right. Yeah. All right, thanks, everyone. Enjoy your protein shake or whatever. Yeah, whatever that was. Ad. Enjoy your horrible political ad. Oh, yeah, nice. Sometimes people message me and they're like, do you know a horrible political person is running and giving you money for this? And you're like, yeah, we yeah. asked for that. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. But I, I can't. I don't choose the ads. <laughs> the go in basically. Oh, oh, I choose the ads. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good job. Thanks. All right, thanks, everyone. Okay, grab that jam, you guys. Bye. Yeah. Can't believe I didn't say Mobius. Right? God damn it. Yeah.